channel. So today's video is a very special video. Um, I'm going to do my very, very first Q&A. Um, if you're watching this also on the upload day, October the 1st, the Thursday, it's also my birthday, so I wanted to upload this today as my first ever Q&A. Um, I've been quite nervous about it actually, but it, I got loads and loads of lovely questions, so I'm very excited to answer. I answered, I asked it a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram story, and I got loads and loads of people asking me loads of questions, and I'll answer them for you now. So let's have a look. So somebody asked me what is my zodiac sign, I am a Libra, um, yes, which means I am the scales, which means I am very, very up and down, which makes sense, so yes, I am a Libra. So it asked me what is my favourite ice cream flavour, or um, I really, really like cookie dough, absolutely love cookie dough, anything cookie dough ice cream, um, maybe like fudge ice cream, or... I just love ice cream, like strawberry ice cream. Oh, I absolutely love an ice cream. Someone else asked me what is my favourite birthday cake flavour, and I absolutely love that question. Um, oh, I don't know. You can't go wrong with a chocolate cake, but I absolutely love like a cheesecake. Um, really, really love cheesecake. Um, so yeah, maybe a nice cheesecake. Or maybe a carrot cake. I love carrot cake. I love a butter, uh, buttercream frosting. Or oh, so maybe one of those three would be my perfect birthday cake. Somebody else asked me what is my favourite online shop. Um, I didn't really online shop a lot before lockdown, and then lockdown I become absolutely obsessed with it. I absolutely love getting parcels every day. Um, I really really like H and M. I love shopping at Nasty Gal. I think they got some amazing bits. Um, apart from that, I've ordered a few bits of New Look, but yeah, I think Nasty Girl's probably one of my favourite places to shop online. I am hopefully soon, in the next few weeks, going to do order from Shein because I've never ever done a Shein order ever and I'm excited to try it out because I've watched a lot of people's hauls and I really want to try out the brand. Um, and I've also got a parcel coming from... Romwe, R-O-M-W-E, because um, I've seen it on Facebook a few times, I've seen a few people buying off there, so I really want to try it, so I've got a few bits coming from there, so I'll do a haul to show you. Um, so yes, it's probably one of my favourite shops. And somebody asked me who are my favourite YouTubers at the minute, um, I watch as much YouTube as I can, because I'm working full time at the minute, but yes, I absolutely am into... I really, really enjoy watching Sid and Elle's videos, I think they're hilarious. Um, I'm really, really into watching Ellie Darby's videos at the minute, like I've started like binge watching her videos because I absolutely find them hilarious as well, and I like her sister Lucy's videos. Um, who else do I like? I like Fab Han, she's hilarious as well. Um, really, really love Talia and Liv's videos as well, I'll link them below. Really, really love their channels. Um, who else do I watch? At the minute, there's so many other small YouTubers that I watch as well. So if I can remember, so when I'm editing this, if I can remember any more, I'll link some more in the down bar. Someone else asked me what's my favourite makeup. Um, really, really love Primark makeup. I think it's lovely. Um, my favourite high-end makeup brand's got to be Armour Decay. I absolutely love, love the eyeshadow palette. I really like Morphe as well. Um, yes, some of my favourites. Someone asked me what do I do for work, um, I work part time for Primark in Cornwall, um, I absolutely love it, I've been there about three years now and I absolutely love it, um, but it's just not great for my bank because I end up seeing bits as I'm working and shopping more than I should, but it's fine. Um, so yes I work for Primark. Someone asked me an ideal way to spend a day off, um, probably... Probably a day with Jack, maybe. Maybe go for lunch like we did today. Yeah, probably my ideal, ideal day off is like today. Like maybe go see family, go for a nice lunch and stuff, go for a nice walk. Maybe chill and watch a movie. Um, pot around, really. It's quite nice to have a chill pot around. Someone asked me, how did you and Jack meet? Um, so we've been together for five years. 
we met around this time actually like five years ago um at a party like we met each other through friends like we were in the same lived in the same sort of area but we didn't go to school together and we met through friends um and we'd like seen each other at parties and stuff and just thought like nothing of it like we just thought you know so each other passing throughout the years and then there was one party on the 22nd of october about five years ago where it was like a camping party and we ended up just chatting and getting to know each other and yeah it just went from there like the next day we messaged each other straight away and I actually messaged him the next day and we sort of chatted from there and just flowed and never stops like and yeah I think our, our anniversary is on the 5th of November so we got together quite quickly afterwards but we sort of like become friends through it like we'd always know each other so we weren't strangers but we sort of like become friends throughout our relationship which was really nice and we're always like comfortable from day one and so yeah that's how we met very very cute someone asked me one pro and one con of youtube um a pro is definitely like the community behind it i absolutely love the people i've met i've met so many lovely people and also another pro is like i like being creative and i like the edit i do actually quite like editing and everything and i like the creative side of everything and the whole process um not really con but the only thing that might be a bit of a con about it is maybe the time because it does take a lot of time I never realised before I did it how much time er actually everything takes like ed filming a video itself takes about an hour once you set everything up and stuff and then editing takes a few hours and then exporting it and then uploading it, it takes all time and it's not as simple as just upload a video you've got everything else that comes with it all the little bits like finding tags doing thumbnails like trying to get your video out there so yeah it's probably the time but the pros definitely will outweigh the cons and I think if you're organised and have a schedule I think that's the best thing you can do because I started my channel in lockdown so I had all the time in the world so it's fine and then I went from that to start working full time again so I was like right okay I really enjoy doing this I don't want to stop so how can I fit it in my life without take it taking over so I would upload schedule, I write down videos I want to do for each day and I try to upload a Thursday and a Sunday but I do miss some Thursdays but I don't put too much pressure on myself to upload it because I think I do work full time so it's fine but yeah I just really really enjoy it and fit around the schedule is the best thing for the time. Someone asked me what got you into YouTube, um, I've loved YouTube from day one, I've absolutely always loved watching videos. Um, me and Tali used to sit in our bedrooms watching videos and we did actually start a YouTube channel back in the day, bloomingly. Um, but then like school gets in the way in college and I think I didn't do one first of all because I just thought like I was so afraid of what people were going to say about me and I think as a, like a teenager growing up you do worry about things like that and I think the older you get the sort of you sort of realise that those people don't matter. Like the people that are gonna be judgmental and be like why are you doing that don't actually matter in your life and the ones that do matter are the ones that be like well go for it you know so that's why I started in lockdown because first of all I was bored and had nothing to do and I was talking to Talia about her YouTube channel and she was doing so amazing and I was so proud of her and I just thought do you know what like this is something I could do as well like, I don't know why you know she's brave enough to do it so why am I not you know it's something we both wanted to do so yeah that's why I started it Someone said, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Um, five years is quite a long time, but it's not at the same time. So career-wise, I have no clue. I have no clue what I want to do. Um, I know I want to have travelled by then. So my goal is to be travelled by then. Maybe bought a house? I don't know. How old have I been in five years? So 22 when this video goes live, so that will mean I'll be 27 in five years' time. So 27, I'd hopefully like to have bought the house maybe be married which is quite scary but in five years time me and Jack would have gone together 10 years so that's quite you know realistic goal I guess but it's scary too um you know maybe bought a house maybe be married with a dog but I don't know career wise what I want to do but hopefully find something in five years that I actually really enjoy what I want to do properly so yes Someone asked me, what other hobbies do you have apart from YouTube? Um, I don't really have time, like, I bake a lot. I do actually bake quite a bit, which is nice. I'm starting to get into baking and cooking a lot. 
Um, I really like artistic things, so I really, really love photography and I want to get properly into that again. Um, what else do I do? I do read quite a bit. I think after lockdown it's sort of like introduced that hobby for me. I do enjoy colouring, like in the evenings when all my candles are lit and my fairy lights are on, I just like sitting there and colouring it and just puts me like such a happy like state of mind before bed. I'm so calm and collected. Um, apart from that I don't really like, I used to go to the gym a lot, so I guess something like that. But yes. Somebody asked where are you from? So I'm from Cornwall, I was actually born here. Then when I was a couple of... I think it was a couple of months old or yeah I think it was a couple of months old we moved to Germany because my dad was in the RAF so we moved to Germany and lived there for a few years and then my brother was born there and then we where did we move then then I think after a few years we moved to Birmingham for a few months then we moved to Norwich um and I lived there till I was seven and then we my mum and I broke up so then me and mum and Ryan moved back to Cornwall and we've lived there since I was seven, so I come from here and I've technically lived away but I come back, so yes. Someone asked what's my end goal career, I have literally no clue. Um, I've got loads of options, like, I've got loads of things that I'm interested in and would like to pursue but I just don't know which career path I'd like to go down yet. So I'm hoping in the next couple of years I sort of say you go travelling and then figure it out after. Um, love YouTube to be a career but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, and for the minute I'm just doing it for fun. But yeah, I think I'd like to go into sort of some sort of planning, organising thing. So maybe like events planning, I think we're really up my street, planning weddings, stuff like that. I think I'd love that, like a wedding planner or a birthday planner. I think that's something I'd love to do. i also asked, do you currently work what as? And I've already answered that, I work at Primark. Um, someone else asked, what's my favourite colour? I don't know. Um, Maybe like a blush pink, because my whole wardrobe's full of like blush pink colours. But I think it just changes as I go by the like seasons and stuff. But I do like a blush pink, and I really do like blue as well. But more for summer. Someone else asked, "Who's my favourite YouTubers, big and small?" Which I've already answered. Um, some of the small YouTubers I really like are. Let's have a look. Um, I try and pronounce people's names. Um, I really, really like Isabel Celine's videos at the moment. I'm really, really into her videos, so I'll link her channel below. Um, I'm really also into Jen Hazago. Sorry if I didn't pronounce your name properly, but yes, I absolutely love your videos at the minute. Um, yes, so I've got loads of people's videos I absolutely love. And then the person that asked me that question also said, Happy birthday, for it's your birthday, so thank you very much. Um, so that is all the questions that I had. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more, subscribe. Thank you very much.